Hey movie fans, let's explore the 1939 classic film, The Little Princess. It's a touching story about a young girl facing life's challenges. But before you click away, hold on because there are some surprising, funny, and even emotional facts about this gem. Which character stole the spotlight for you? Share your favorite role in the comments. Now, why does this movie still matter? What makes it a symbol of the film industry? Ponder on it and drop your thoughts. As we uncover the layers of this timeless piece, we want to hear your memories or personal experiences related to the movie. Share your stories in the comments, we're all ears. So, grab your popcorn, press play, and join us on this nostalgic journey through The Little Princess. You won't want to miss the amazing details we've got for you. Remember, your thoughts count. Stay tuned for more movie magic, and don't forget to share your stories below. This is your chance to be part of the chat. Exciting, right? Keep watching, keep commenting, and let's make this a movie discussion to remember. During its release, the movie captured the hearts of many with its touching story. People of all ages were drawn to the tale of a young girl facing challenges with grace and kindness. The film's influence extended far beyond the screen, inspiring various spin-offs across different forms of media. From books to radio adaptations, the story continued to resonate with audiences. Merchandise featuring beloved characters became highly sought after, turning them into household names. Over time, the story's adaptability allowed it to maintain its appeal, captivating new generations. Overall, the movie left a lasting impact on popular culture, ensuring its place in the hearts of many. In a bygone era of Hollywood, a movie set in the 1930s featured a character named Robert who reminisced about a film that never quite existed as he described. The tale he recounted echoed another cinematic masterpiece, Dark Victory, starring the iconic Bette Davis, rather than the actors he mentioned. Interestingly, reports surfaced of offers extended to a young Shirley Temple for roles in several renowned films across nearly two decades. Additionally, an actor named Holmes Herbert made notable appearances in both the 1931 version of A Famous Story and its sequel in 1951, though the latter lacked acknowledgement. These anecdotes provide glimpses into the lives and careers of those associated with the movie, offering valuable insights into their roles in shaping the film industry. In the world of movies, there was a lion named Clarence who was quite famous for being gentle and having a beautiful golden mane, kind of like how Shirley Temple was famous for being adorable. In a movie called The Little Princess from 1939, there was a girl named Sybil Jason who spoke with a Cockney accent, which she learned from someone famous for teaching people accents. Besides being in movies, Shirley Temple became known for something else too. People made a special drink in her honor called the Shirley Temple. It's a mix of ginger ale or 7-Up, grenadine and orange juice, topped with a cherry and a lemon slice. The Little Princess movie had lots of interesting things going on. These little stories give us a peek into all the cool stuff that happened behind the scenes of the movie from 1939. Despite finding it a bit cheesy, Shirley Temple admitted to falling for Charles Black the first time they met in Honolulu. Black, who worked for a shipping company back then, made a lasting impression on Temple during the filming of The Little Princess. In a surprising turn of events, Jack Lindquist, later known as the first president of Disneyland, acted alongside Shirley Temple in the movie. Lindquist played one of the two-page boys in the dream sequence, a person with a story that went beyond the movie screen. The Little Princess became Shirley Temple's first full-color film, showing off her talent in a lively cinematic world. This was a big moment in her career, broadening her influence and adding to the lasting impact of her films. In 1939, Anita Louise shared the screen with Lou Ayers in two films, Heaven on Earth at Universal and These Glamour Girls at MGM. Meanwhile, Shirley Temple had plans to play a younger version of Emmeline in an adaptation of The Blue Lagoon for Gainsborough Pictures and 20th Century Fox in 1939. However, the project was abandoned due to World War II. When it was revived in 1944, budget constraints led to Gene Simmons taking on the lead role, marking a pivotal moment in her career. Temple's potential casting could have broken her typecasting as an ingenium. Marsha Mee Jones, daughter of actress Frida Jones, faced personal challenges later in life, grappling with emotional issues and alcohol dependency. Despite these struggles, she eventually earned a degree in religious science and overcame her dependencies. The Little Princess cast members, through their diverse paths, encountered both triumphs and tribulations, showcasing the unpredictable nature of life in the film industry. Their journeys extend beyond the screen, reflecting the complexities faced by those in the world of entertainment. Did you know that some classic films faced unexpected fates due to overlooked legal details? One such instance involved a movie falling into the public domain because its copyright wasn't renewed. 
This mishap led to various versions of the film circulating freely, each with its own quality and editing quirks. It's intriguing to explore the connections between actors who played similar roles in different films. For example, there's a fascinating link between Cesar Romero, Adam West, and Val Kilmer in various portrayals, along with Christian Bale and Heath Ledger taking on different roles, but in the same movie. It's remarkable how such connections can enhance our understanding of the actors' careers and the films themselves. These insights offer a glimpse into the rich tapestry of Hollywood history. Examining the 1939 film reveals critics' concerns about its stance on Britain during the Second Boer War. Rooted in Francis Hodgson Burnett's 1988 novel Sarah Crew, or What Happened at Miss Minchin's, the movie draws inspiration from the 1905 expanded version titled The Little Princess, being the whole story of Sarah Crew. This novel, born from the success of the 92 London and 1903 New York stage adaptations, serves as the film's foundation. A noteworthy element involves a unique portrayal of the Joker by Cesar Romero, who at 59 became the oldest actor to take on this role in live action. His seasoned perspective adds depth to the movie's history, bringing a distinct flavor to the character. These historical threads intertwine, shaping the narrative of the film and its ties to the original novel and stage adaptation. Understanding the contextual influences and how the cast, particularly Romero, enhanced the movie provides a more nuanced perspective on this cinematic venture. Crafting a richer narrative involves recognizing the source material's evolution and the actor's impact, illuminating the broader context behind the film's creation. It's these elements that contribute to the unique tapestry of A Little Princess. In 1939, during the making of The Little Princess, various interesting anecdotes emerged about the cast. Sybil Jason, whose son-in-law Philip W. Rossi produced The Price is Right, had a notable connection to the entertainment industry. Shirley Temple, a contender for the role of Dorothy Gale in The Wizard of Oz, faced hurdles due to 20th Century Fox's refusal to lend her to MGM and concerns over her singing abilities. Ultimately, Judy Garland secured the part. Additionally, Cesar Romero's passing occurred just 18 days after his The Thin Man co-star Myrna Lloyd. These interconnected tales provide intriguing insights into the lives of the film's actors. In the late 1930s, Shirley Temple, the acclaimed child star, found herself in a transitional phase as America's leading box office attraction. The movie set against this backdrop was The Little Princess, a Technicolor film produced by 20th Century Fox. During the production, Shirley Temple's family welcomed their children in Santa Monica, California, with birth announcements featured in Time magazine. The birth weights varied, but all were healthy, with the smallest son weighing in at 6 pounds 12 oz. Interestingly, Charlie Jr. arrived later, born in Bethesda, Maryland, adding a unique touch to the film's British charm, Arthur Treacher, known for his fish, and Chip's chain played a role beyond the screen. At its peak, the chain boasted over 500 locations across the United States, and although it underwent ownership changes, Treacher served as a spokesperson, emphasizing the British character of the food. The Little Princess marked the end of Shirley Temple's reign as America's top box office star. To secure her legacy, 20th Century Fox spared no expense, making it her first all-technicolor film based on a popular children's book. With an unprecedented budget of $1 million, this lavish production became Temple's final box office success as a child star. In the annals of cinema history, The Little Princess remains a significant milestone, capturing the essence of a transitional period for both Shirley Temple and the industry.